So, in addition to Romney's whiteboard <laughs> Medicare antics, he's also out with a new attack line on the president that he's been reiterating. Let's take a listen. His campaign and his surrogates have made wild and reckless accusations that disgrace the office of the presidency. This is what an angry and desperate presidency looks like. Mr. President, take your campaign of division and anger and hate back to Chicago. Woo! Take it back to Chicago, that anger and hate. Um, so when I listen to that, to me the words seem sort of loaded, but I wanted to get you all's thoughts. Tori, what did you think about that? Yeah, quote? I mean, that really bothered me. You notice he says anger twice. He's really trying to uh, use racial coding and, ac and access some, some really deep stereotypes about the angry black man. Um, this is part of the playbook against Obama, the otherization. He's not like us. I know it's a heavy thing to say. I don't say it lightly, but this is niggerization. You are not one of us. And then you are like the scary black man who we've been trained to fear. And the idea of, of locating anger around Barack Obama just doesn't fit with who he is and who he has trained himself to be going back to high school, training himself to be no drama Obama. So, so who are they talking to then here? Well, but they're talking to people who are trained to hate him, who want to hate him. <laughs> it's a base turnout election, so this is how we can rev up the base to, to work against Let him. Let me get this straight, just so I have this straight. In addition to calling Mitt Romney something of a racist and the whole of the base as racist, Joe Biden makes a racially charged comment, which you and many others on the left called divisive. Mitt Romney comes out, calls that comment divisive. But because he used the word angry, now his is the racially charged comment. Do you see how dishonest that is? Well, you know, I didn't call anybody racist, right, because I don't want to deal with that. It's a bit oh, too much. Certainly but I'm saying that he's working that with Mitt Romney the and the base will respond to this dog whistle, race, racially charged coding well, and hate Obama, the angry black well, man? I mean, the GOP has been working but it's with... it's so irresponsible, Trey. The GOP has been working with racial codes going back to Reagan and perhaps before. I mean, going back to Nixon with the war on drugs, Reagan with the welfare queens, uh, the first Bush with the uh, Willie Horton. I mean, this is typical Lee Atwater politics, Karl Rove politics. This is typical Republican Again, so then playbook. the whole of the party, the whole of the party uses he's this racial coding. That. I mean... He's oh, he not, just did. He's not saying well, that, I mean, but he is calling is, out this is, but this is not a revolutionary comment. This is a constituency all-white party that rejects the black you vote. You have two that white guys in Joe Biden and Mitt Romney. Joe Biden made the overtly racial comment and has a history of making bigoted remarks. Mitt Romney was responding to that comment, and yet he is the one responsible for the whole Republican history the, of racism no, in no, politics. That's not what Tory's saying. He, but he's using, no, but he he's, can speak for no, himself. No, but he's using the playbook that Republicans have been using for decades now. And I, I was just in waiting. Your to, view. Can it, no, no, this is not my view. This has been laid this out fact. by, I can, I by many, yeah. many scholars. I, I would just suggest there is something a little broader going on here. I'll give the Republicans a little bit of the benefit of the doubt here. I think what they are trying to do here is to drive up the personal negatives ratings for Obama. And they're trying to attach all sorts of words and associations to him that will make people dislike him, frankly, as much as they now dislike right. Mitt Romney. I think the political problem you're running into here is he invokes Mitt Romney, invokes Chicago in this thing we just listened to. We have been hearing from the, from the moment Barack Obama became the Democratic nominee in 08, Republican attacks on Chicago politics and how Barack Obama yeah. embodies Chicago. We heard about <laughs> Jeremiah Wright in 08, so there was sort of, you know, there was a racial element to it. There was they were trying to make him sound like a radical. The point here is if it didn't work in 08, if it hasn't registered with voters in the four years he's been president, it isn't going to suddenly start Absolutely. working now. I think that's the problem like Republicans have. He's exactly. still a likable guy. And, and right? you can't deny that these racially coded dog whistles have worked for the Republican Party in the past. So that's not to say that all Republicans are racist or that Mitt Romney is racist, but that that tactic of using those co coded words has worked in the past. On yesterday's show, in a discussion of, about the presidential race, I used a word to make a point. In retrospect, I muddied the discussion by using the N-word. I could have made my point without that word. I shouldn't have used it, and for that, I'm sorry.